Today we're back out here on Emerald Coast of Australia and we're going to be doing some coil hunting. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> Holy, look at the size of that mythical croc. That is an absolute monstrous crocodile. 1,887 pounds to 2,425 pounds. That is one heck of a massive big old croc. But he's a long ways out there. He's got a minimum estimate of 789 to 959. We're going to actually try and take him down with the AR-308. Mainly because... Well, that's pretty much all we can really use. <laughs> yeah, that's all we can use. Aside from the 12 gauge with slugs, and that could be awesome also. Ooh. What mind going for a shot on him? <sighs> let's just say that was one lucky fox. But now let's get back on that huge mythical croc. So yeah, let's go for a shot. He's actually in the water partially. And he's a little further than what I thought. We're talking 380 yards. Yeah, he's 380 yards out there. So our shot needs to be pretty much spot on accurate. Well, hopefully it was good enough. Hopefully it was good enough. And the mythical was right about here. I am definitely not seeing much sign of blood. But then again, this one's laying right here and there's no blood here either. So our shot literally dropped right below the heart. And then we got him in the spinal cord. Here goes nothing. Oh my God, we did connect. It just took that long to take him down. Holy, 388 yard. Our shot was absolutely perfect. I don't know why I doubted that at all. But look at the size of this giant, 902 gold. He was almost a diamond, weighed 1,979 pounds. 388 yard, perfect lung shot. Dead center. Perfect. But it took him so long to float back up to the top that I honestly thought we may have messed up the shot. Okay, this is actually kind of awesome. We're sitting up here way on the top of this mountain. I'm talking a good four or five hundred feet up here. And if you look down there, you can't even really see these crocs. But there happens to be three crocs right down there. Right in that little opening, and they're actually swimming around, swimming around, almost like fish down there. So you can literally see they're partially submerged. Well, this one's fully submerged, and these two are partially submerged here. But there happens to be a six and a five. So there's a decent male right out there at about 380 yards. And we're going to go for, oh, we're going to try and triple up. Let's just say that. Now, 380 yards, we'd probably want to hold high. But because we're so high up right now, we really aren't going to want to hold too high. And as you can see, we pretty much held straight on. And we're pretty successful. Wow. Look at the percentage dropping. That is 480 yards, but because we're so high up, it's actually about 515 yards in reality from the trajectory of the angle from this mountain. And I'm actually not seeing any other crocs floating up here, which is a little surprising considering those shots should have all been pretty good. But then again, we only hit them once. And at that distance, we saw it took a long time for that uh, mythical to float up to the top from before. So you never know, it might float up, it might not. Ah, right there. 
There's one of them right there. And there's the other one. Dude, we did get all three of them. All right, let's find out what this is. And it's actually a six. So that was our first shot. 384 yard lung shot there. And that's what took him down. 697. Actually almost got a heart shot. So that worked out perfectly. I said we're not going to have much drop. And we actually didn't have any drop in reality. Maybe like an inch. Oh my god, finally, finally, finally. We got eyes on our first actual stubble coil here. Except, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure it may have already taken... Oh, no, there it is! Where is it? Yeah! We got two! We got two! Oh, that was cool. Holy... We've been hunting for a long time, trying to find any sign of these quail, and honestly, we haven't had much luck until all of a sudden, just now, we got eyes on two of them, and we ended up taking down both of them. Well, technically, there was like five, but we got two out of the five. All right, let's see if we can't figure out where they're at. Oh, right here, right here. Look at, they're both laying right here, side by side. Here we go, our first ever stubble quail, and it's gonna be a gold. 32 yard shot with a 12 gauge shotgun, and it's a 210 gold male. There we go. Looks like we got him right in the chest bone there. But have a look at our first ever stubble quail of Australia. So we got that, and then there's one more laying right here. And that was a female. 37 yards and looks like another perfect shot that was a gray brown female as well oh we got more we got more there they go there they go where did it go where did it go um well we just shot it out of the sky i don't know if that was ethical or not but it seems like to me it was And it should be laying right over here. All right. And that was a 29 yard shot. Yep. Everything was ethical on that. Nice neck shot as it was flying right towards us. So we're finally finding some quail. There we go. So if you want to know where we're hunting, we're over here on the north end by Opal Point. And we just got into this area right here. You know, what's interesting about these is when you're not looking for them, you find them everywhere, right? And then you come out here and you're actually hunting for them. You can't really find them very well. They are so good at hiding. So good. But they definitely called right in this brush row here. So let's see if we can't get lucky enough to spot him. And I actually believe that he may have hung up right in that little brush patch right there. Because that's the last place that we saw him. I don't know where else he would have went. Yeah, he's still calling over there. So he's got to be right there. Less than 100 yards away. All right, we'll try and get as close as we can. And then we're going to try and flush him up. So probably right about here. And we're going to run and try and flush him up. He should be right here somewhere. Where is he? Got him! Wow. Well, we may have went over for 2. But we definitely did not go for three. And it's a male as well, 184. Not a bad size one. Got him at 40 yards out, and it's a brown. All right, well, we finally got eyes on some more. Well, not necessarily eyes, but we heard some more calling over here. So again, we're gonna... They did not just flush up 150. Oh, look at the size of that flock. 
son of a... Well, we found him. Oh, yeah, we did. That's a lot of quail. They were feeding right out here. Unfortunately, they flushed up. And we weren't able to get a shot off. Nine of them. Holy kangaroos. Oh, they just landed. There's a chance. They all may be right down there. Oh my god, right there, right there, right there, right there! Right there. Right there. Is that a different flock or the same one? I was not ready for them either way. All right, there we go. 34 yards. Yeah, they were definitely in range. And 45 yards by our second shot. That was a decent male. Right there they go. I thought I had him. Just missed him. Well, we got two more. 35 yards. And another one. 43 yards. So they're really not going that far at all. But I believe we also took down probably half that flock already. Right there, right there, right there, right there. They just landed, they just landed right there. Which way are they gonna fly? Hopefully they fly this way. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Oh my God, he's coming this way, he's coming this way. There they go! Got him! May have doubled up potential. I don't even know if we got that first one or not. Oh my god, we did double up. Or at least there's one right here. Uh, oh, right there. Shoot him. Got him. Holy. This is a blast. Okay, did we double up? There's this one here. 61 yards out. I don't believe we doubled up. That's probably the only one that we got. Unless we did hit this one over here, which I don't think we did. Nope, we didn't. But we did get this one. And 56 yards. And that is going to be it. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh my god, that was so perfect. He literally flew right to us. Wow. Well, I guess sometimes it does work. There we go. We'll finish off with that. Look at that, 16 yards out on the fly, and that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing weekend. And we'll see you next time.